So, I have never been to Silver Dollar City, but from what I've heard, it is a really good park. But from what it seems, they're missing one crucial thing in their lineup, and that is a wooden coaster. They've RMC'd both their wooden coasters, and I'll be telling you guys why. Get one in this video. What's up guys, Cam here, and today I'll be telling you all why Silver Dollar City should get a Gravity Group Woody as their next roller coaster after after Fire and Hold. But before I get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and let's get straight into this. So Silver Dollar City, it is a 61 acre amusement park in Missouri, and it looks like an amazing, beautiful park. They have amazing rides there. Time Traveler, Outlaw Run, and Thunderation seem like really cool, really fun rides. But from what it seems, they have gotten rid of their wooden coasters. Like, they have gotten rid of Fire in the Hole, and they're replacing it with a new Fire in the Hole, which is an RMC. And from what I've heard, they are now lacking that one wooden coaster. And I think that a wooden coaster would work really well in their lineup. So it comes down to which manufacturer would they go to. Would they go to the iconic GCI or would they go to Gravity Group? Or maybe they'd go to Intamin for their prefab, but nobody's going to Intamin. And from what it seems, it might be likely that they're going to either GCI or Gravity Group. Now let's think. Would you rather have something like Ghost Rider? Would you rather have something like The Voyage? Now, from what I am showing on the screen right now, from what I said in the video, you probably know, I'm picking the Gravity Group. And why the Gravity Group? Well, let me just say, they've gone with more terrain-based coasters before. As, you, as they've put on, they're going to Great Escape, and they're making a new family wooden coaster, but this wooden coaster wouldn't be any normal wooden coaster, it would be like the Voyage. And imagine a roller coaster that goes into a deep forest like the Voyage, and in Silver Dollar City they could theme it to something western. But let me tell you the pros and the cons of this. The first pro is now they have a wooden coaster. A wooden coaster would fit very well in their lineup. They do have Outlaw Run and fire in the hole but they are mainly thriller thrill coasters and one is a family coaster and from what i've seen those two would really work well in the lineup too and they have powder keg a launch coaster time traveler a spinning launch coaster thunderation a mine train and that is about it but their roller coaster lineup is really good and the only thing that could fix it is a wooden coaster that would really be well in the park the second pro this is cost as we've known from the gravity group they can do some really good coasters for a pretty cheap price and silver dollar city we know they're willing to dump money in so we're getting something like the voyage or above from silver dollar city and as we've seen time traveler costed 40 million dollars as we've known there will her is willing to dump a lot of money into these parks and I think that the Gravity Group is a much better idea to fit into the park. And let's get into the third pro. The third pro is the land. They have enough land to fit in this this thing that we're calling it. And yeah, it would work really well. It could go into a spot more around the edges. There is a plot of land behind the fair thing that they have and it could fit really well it could be really good and another pro that we can be looking at is that they have terrain and terrain is a pretty good sign of that you could fit a wooden coaster we've seen wooden coasters be able to fit on terrain steel coasters been fitted in the train and we've seen it before with Outlaw Run, they have been willing to put wooden supports on the train, and if they were willing to do that, we can see terrain being a major factor in making this ride even better than it 
than we thought it could be. Silver Dollar City is very much train based. It's literally built on a mountain. It's literally like Magic Mountain. So, from what I'm saying, you can probably tell that I would really like a Gravity Group wooden coaster here. But there are some cons to this, and I'll tell you some cons. The first con is it may be eerily too much like Outlaw Run. Now, Outlaw Run is a RMC hybrid coaster, and we can see this happening, and it could be way too similar to Outlaw Run for Silver Dollar City to be making it happen. And personally, I don't think that would be a problem, but in the park's eyes, if they're willing to diversify the lineup, then sure i mean we there all the rides are very unique powder keg is a is a major launch coaster the what is their other the, the other ride the bnm floorless it's floorless time traveler spinning thunder rations the mine train outlaw run is a hybrid coaster with mega airtime and, and fire in the hole is a great indoor roller coaster that has a bunch of scenes in it that would work really well and that might just not fit as well into the lineup as the other coasters and personally i think that might be a bit of a problem but maybe not and then the second con is fire in the hole fire in the hole just opened so we would not be seeing this in the next near future. It would probably be three to four years before we see this come to Silver Dollar City, but it might happen. It does have a chance. If Hershend is willing to dump money into this park, then I would not be surprised to see this park come together like this. So I'm wondering, what do you think? Personally, I think that this would be a great addition to the park. They have the land, they have the terrain, they have the money. And we've seen them willing to do stuff like this before. But there are cons, there are pros, as we've seen with every addition to this park. But I just want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of those notifications. And I want to give a quick shout out to some other YouTubers, Airtime Thrills, Theme Park Studios, and mainly the Lost Coaster Fanboy for watching and commenting on all of these videos and i will see you all in the next video goodbye